Thank you for being here at 5. I'm Erin Christie. The community of Drumright is mourning tonight after the loss of two 15-year-old girls who died in an ATV crash. We told you this happened on Saturday evening northeast of Drumright city limits. 2 News Oklahoma senior reporter Justin Ayer spoke with a businesswoman in the community who knew the girls personally and provided an outlet for them to be their best selves. The community's heads are spinning as they try to wrap their minds around a tragedy that doesn't seem real involving two best friends. 15-year-old Drumright High students, energetic and excited about their bright futures. Shelly Weaver saw it firsthand, checking them in for Epis Camp last summer. These girls were so excited and they were excited for the adventure. They were excited for what was coming. Epis Sports Experience is a local nonprofit with organized training camps for sports and life skills. Weaver says Rayleigh Dennis went for two years for softball, and Dennis talked Heather Johnson in this year for cheerleading. Both were on this year's drum right softball team. It's Weaver's organization that's been entrusted to collect money to be divided equally among the families for funeral expenses. She'll be collecting on their website, episathletes.org, until October 31st. According to the latest census, Drumright has just over 2,500 people in it. So when something tragic like this happens, it's going to hit the community hard. But people here tell me when things like that do happen, they come back even stronger. Clearly, Rayleigh and Heather were strong as nails and role models to those who might not have been. Not only were they energized together, but then you see them empowering and encouraging others that may have had a difficult day or were trying to overcome something. And those girls were there to lift up. There will be a public candlelight vigil tomorrow, Tuesday at 8 in the evening here at the softball field to remember those two girls. The class of 2026 will be here as well. That is, of course, the sophomore class. In drum right, Justin Ayer, 2 News, Oklahoma. And we have since learned that any remaining funds will be used to set up memorial scholarship funds in each of the girls' names. We have a link where you can donate at kjrh.com. Find this story in the News tab.